Hi, and thanks for following the Bite Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to take some screenshots of your gameplay, record video, and a ton more. By the way, welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time here to the platform, very nice to meet you. And a big welcome back, a huge, massive welcome back, in fact, to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you with us. In some of the previous videos, we looked at how to set up the audio, the microphone, optimize the graphics so you don't have any stutter of any kind when you launch your first VR application, as well as fix the black screen in case you can't see anything inside of a VR headset, customize your home, move 3D objects, and a ton more. But now let me show you how to take some screenshots of your gameplay, record video, and do a few more other things. So one of the things that you can do if you hold again your Windows logo button on your controller to bring up your main navigation UI is you can do several different things here. Now you'll notice there are three different icons at the bottom of the main panel, one of them being a camera, another one being a video camera, and then another one is like a torch. You'll be able to take a picture of your environment or in-game by hitting the camera icon and it will save the file automatically on your computer. The next icon will be the video camera, which will enable you to record any in-game experience whilst you're playing in VR. And the third icon is the torch. Now, when you click on that, you'll see that you'll be able to look out into the real world through your VR headset. Now, it is in black and white, but nonetheless, it's very useful because you can see for whatever reason you may want to actually look out. And to disable all these kind of things, all you have to do is click on them again and then automatically close the pop-up again by hitting the Windows key on your controller. All right, let me share with you another couple tricks. First of all, if you wanted to change the locomotion instead of moving around as you're teleporting, but you know, move around in a smooth kind of continuous way, all you have to do is press and hold the right joystick until you hear a click. And then now normally it will lock it in position and you can move the joystick up or down or left and right. And as you can tell, I'm no longer moving in a teleport kind of motion. And moving around in a very smooth way. This can be very useful for people who are not particularly comfortable with a teleport locomotion. Now, if you're like me and you like to take voice notes, what you might find useful is bring up your main navigation panel again. Now, when you click on the microphone icon, you'll actually be able to record any voice. When you're done, you'll see on the left-hand side of the panel the various different files that have been saved on your computer, and then you can play back any of those files. All right, I hope you're ready because in the next video, we are gonna crank up the heat. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the height of your floor space. And also, of course, we're gonna open our first VR experience. If things were easy, I would tell you to open any VR experience from the home Mixed software. But unfortunately, there are gonna be bugs with some of the apps that you would open from there. So let's both meet together in the next video where I'll share more tips and tricks and show you what kind of apps you should open from Steam. All right, let's go.